Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Before we start, we want to let you know that we have a brand new bonus drunk episode right now with Zach and Jared on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where you can get a bunch of bonus content, a bunch of high episodes, mm -hmm. a bunch of drunk episodes. Early access to all of these episodes. You get to see them a few days early and they're all ad free. We also do a live Q and A every single month. So make sure to tune in for that. And we're also doing a live Q and A this month. If you want to check that out too. Again, it's only five bucks a month. If you want to join our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, and you're going to get access to everything we've posted uh, there as soon as you sign up. All right, let's get the episode started, baby. Good go, Bubba. I do. Hot tamale. Your hair looks amazing today, by the way. Yeah, it looks really yeah, good. Yeah, and, and your face is just. <laughs> well, you, Mariah gets all the attractive compliments. I mean, he's been getting them in in, in Thanks, Zane too. And you know what? Maybe Why'd you I... stutter when you get to me? <laughs> Matt, hold on. Let, Matt's you. fishing right now. Let him. Let him. Fish oh, okay, okay. Matt. No, I, I okay. yo, I'm still disheveled. I got back from London. I don't know. Yeah, Matt. You, Matt's actually was not feeling the best a few days ago. I but, thought I wasn't gonna. Make, make it. it today, but now I feel good. I don't have COVID. I thought for sure I did. Tested yeah, twice. A relief. And now I have the energy to do we it. Had you wear a hazmat suit in here? But y'all were the first person, people I thought of right when I felt sick. I was like, fuck, unfiltered. We have yeah. to record because I missed out. Jordan, you did a great job. <laughs> Last episode, I haven't watched it from what <laughs> I saw. Did you? Did you, you missed the oh, craziest story? Yeah, stories. you missed the craziest story. I saw uh, a crazy clip on TikTok. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that, that was insane. Insane. Did you see the emu story? No, I he, has a, a bunch. he has had a past. He's had an, one of the most interesting lives I've ever heard of. Yeah. And thank you for sharing, Jordan. You did great. Oh, yeah, and, you did um, not have to do that. By the way, you know how it gets very hot in here and I've been sweating a ton. You guys mm -hmm. have seen the past yeah, we've 10 seen episodes. The underwears. My assistant got me a fan for my phone. Does it make noise? I don't know. Let's see. That's one of those things they got at Coachella that. Yeah. Oh, it's silent. Let me, let me hear real quick. Oh, when you have oh, it you closed. Hear a you bit. hear it? But if you do it off. But it's really good. It feels great. You feel that. Oh, wow. they should sell that at Coachella. They, yeah. I, well, you know those people on MDMA got one of those. Like, it's just like. <laughs> oh, wait. It died. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think your phone has to be on. No, Simple. How is that? Oh, when it's away from your face, it turns off, I think. How, how is it turning it on? I really don't understand. I don't, I don't know either. Like, Electricity? Like, no, it just yeah, doesn't make that, sense that. That needs a charger on its own. So I, yeah. don't, I really don't understand. Cause like it's, it's pulling from the battery of that, but could you charge another phone with a phone if it was two lightning cables? Exactly. Right. Dude, good point. Very good point. I, but they I should mean, just you make could, one. But you could trade Pokemon back in the day with Game Boys like that, remember? <laughs> I never had one, but. You never had one of the cables you linked up with the other? Wait, cables for you what? Could, I thought okay, they were ta cards. Didn't Tamagotchis, you can go head to like, Oh to yeah, you bump them. Couldn't oh, you do something with that? I think so. I, I bet you if you cut the cable and then rewired it, you could go lightning the lightning and it would work. I think so too. Well, I mean the fact that that fan, that this shitty little fan worked, I feel like. Somebody has had to have yeah. already tried it. Uh, also, you like my shirt? No way. I, I, I read that. What What is that? It's just, a, there's a rat on it. So I thought. Oh, oh, oh. hilarious. Yeah, I just, you know, just a little joke. I'm back with the rat jokes. Yeah. Keep them coming guys. It's so, the, it is good. You, you can't. They'll let, never die. Yeah, the, like Matt the Rat. It's just, I thought it was dead for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we still, oh, still, no. I still see him in my comments, and they're not. You're not even in the picture. <laughs> oh, I got All one for time. you, okay. Matt King. When Rug Queen walks in. Oh, okay, pretty <laughs> oh, good. Very I good. like that. I like that one. Zane, what was that? That's why she's been silent. She's I sent you uh, <laughs> Millie Bobby <laughs> Brown and Millie Board of Education walks in. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Like I, I, I'm surprised that trend went so viral. Like I thought it was just something that was gonna hit a small community, but like the whole world is just coming up. Even am, me and Mariah were coming up with ones through text. We we're like, oh, let's come up. Oh, I gotta go in and they're, oh, they all sucked. I'm starting to get to the point where it takes me a while to understand <laughs> what the internet's laughing about. Yeah. I, I still don't really get- I'm I, so lost. It took me a little bit. So basically you take someone's name and you dissect it. So say we took, well, Matt, you think of, the, the noun, a mat, right. like, a, like a doormat. So I changed it to rug. I, I, oh, I understand. Oh, for like, you, it could be like Heath Hussar when Mr. Goodyear Hussar walks in. Like another candy bar? Right. No, oh, that, oh, 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 Snickers. Yeah, that one, but like, I think it has to be a little bit more um, But okay, okay, fitting. but like, what, like what, what are we putting this to? Um, it's just, it's, it's just someone, a, it's a yeah, joke. I don't yeah. understand the sentence. The sentence is- Like what's the is, setup? So-and-so when so-and-so walks in, it's literally, people are just selfing themselves and they go like this. Just annoyed. It's, it's nothing. It's kind of. Yeah. It's 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 kind of. Uh, it's more to like be creative with the name. It has yeah. nothing to really okay. do with like them actually. Like Dick, <laughs> this one. This one was a good one. I laughed at this one. Dick. Uh, Dick Van Dyke when um, 
<laughs> pussy truck. <laughs> Big Van Dyke went pussy truck. But do you get that? <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, truck? yeah. You're you're just yeah. But I don't think there's anything to the rest of it. It's it's just people. It's anyway, just a fun little. Just, yeah. I don't know. People are just anyway. having fun with names. There was just there was a couple that I laughed at, but the rest I was okay. is you know just keeps scrolling. Okay, okay. Oh okay, yeah, well let's just let's just roll into the intro. Baby. <laughs> you want to roll the intro? Let's, yeah, we <clears throat> got we got a lot to talk about, baby. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> it's coffee talk, baby. Woo! <laughs> We're dissecting the names. It's your mother birthday. <laughs> Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Yeah. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm 28. And today is oh. Mariah's birthday. Mariah, happy birthday to you. Actually, your birthday. Well, when's when the my video birthday, comes Zane? Out, What's the date of my 26th. birthday? No. God, it's not. so close. It's not. I Googled it today. Because <laughs> <laughs> did you go to Famous Birthdays? Famous not birthdays. Kind of, I did go to Famous <laughs> Birthdays. Well, I Googled it and Famous Birthdays always comes up. It's the 27th. Yes. Correct. I said the 27th after 27th. Because I, I panicked and I thought it was today. But your birthday present comes tomorrow. I wish I brought it for this episode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Out of everybody, you should know that like I have the, mo the hardest time remembering stuff. You, you'll get it next year. I, well, now that, because you know how we all have a number, like we look like numbers. I'm just going to put seven to you instead of nine and I'll remember it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit out. Anyway, I'm 27 right now. I will be 28 when this comes out. Yeah. What's the plan for the birthday day? Um, you wouldn't know. Well, I can't attend <laughs> because. Um, I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's, I forgive you. I see you every day. Um, Saturday we're doing a pool party mm -hmm. and I have a live band coming and it's a Frank Sinatra impersonator. Get out. That's real. I yeah. saw that on the flyer and it said live music. And, and I'm I like, put a live music, of Frank my Sinatra. ass. I was what? dropping hints. Yeah. How much was it? Was it, was it, it, was, it, honestly, it was fair. It he wasn't was, bad. And there's, so basically I went on a website and I typed in Frank Sinatra impersonator near me and 10 of them came up. So what you do is you fill out this whole questionnaire about what your event is like. How many people are you providing food or this and that. So you fill it out and then they send it out to all the candidates and then they send you their rates and they send you videos of them singing what they look like. It's and you so can cool. Pick. So I picked like a good looking, like one that kind of resembles him, but sounded <laughs> He sounded unreal. the most like yes. him. Yes. Like, it like old just, Frank or like young Frank? Middle, middle age. Middle yeah, age Frank. And is, this isn't, uh, is this the one you're, I forget, this is the one you're flying in or this is the one that's in the city? He's no, here. He's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, okay. he lives um, pretty close by. Yeah, so we're gonna get them for a couple hours. We asked him if he can have like a full band. So he reached out to his band members and he's, we're gonna do a whole thing. Oh, damn. Oh, I thought it was just him by himself. So it's like a whole, it's yeah, a band. There's yeah, there's a band. Oh, so sick. we're gonna They're have gonna them on the deck. Like a deck. stage, and then <laughs> <laughs> wait on the deck in the right the, here, just the, out the kitchen. Yeah, that whole oh, deck oh that wood. Oh, you're making yeah. that into a. a so gonna we're gonna have them on the deck so that no one's coming in the kitchen while I'm prepping the food, so uh. that when they leave, everyone comes in. And what eats. you're thinking like a mother? I'm thinking like a mother. Wow. Yeah. What if he just stays in character the whole time and is like gets <laughs> I point hope so. You need to go home, <laughs> sir. Like he's like, hey, it's me, Frank. <laughs> Give me another cigarette, sweetie. He starts smacking girls' <laughs> butts. Like this guy's gotta go. You need to leave. Really That's funny. So we, it should be fun. We were talking, do they like own that character like outside of their work? Are they going to Starbucks and like uh name for the order? And they're like <laughs> Frank. Frank. <laughs> like do you think they're like always yeah, in character? I oh, maybe. I mean I think they do maybe do it sometimes just just to make themselves like I mean, it's free oh, advertising. It's they yeah. got those cards on deck, but I bet he's happy he's getting booked because I bet all the Elvis impersonators right now are getting booked. Oh, like, yeah, right. yeah, I thought yeah. about getting Elvis too, so they can duel like rip off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. pay per view <laughs> to the, fight. To the but death. they are all so like Vegas, Vegas strip. Elvis's. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, that's creepy. And none of them want to go for the, the younger in shape Elvis. It's all, it's, uh, it's yeah. all old. They all have the gut. Really, yeah. <laughs> really, you know, embracing him like towards the end of his career. Oh, yeah. oh, really? There's no like. There wasn't a young one. Dude, that's oh. what Austin, I, Austin Butler was it. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'd be doing right now. If I was an actor who was good looking, but I wasn't getting booked anything in LA, oh gosh, I'd be learning yeah. all the Elvis songs and book me for your parties. Uh -huh. yeah. You could get booked uh, bachelor parties be a stripper at the yeah. same time that, stripper that's money. Money. Not bad. Not yeah that's bad not idea. bad at all but so. oh, i'm sorry i'm so sorry you can't okay. come well, can, you, well can you come to well we can celebrate oh, here it comes. a little bit early oh my gosh. Oh. happy yeah. birthday to you <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> to you happy birthday dear mariah yeah my good side 
Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, look what we did. Okay, so there is a Barbie on, let me blow this out. Let me make a wish. <laughs> you know that shit's not gonna come true? <laughs> I, I hope it does. <laughs> So I'm looking at this gorgeous cake. Wow, this is That's beautiful. That's really nice. Yeah, I've never seen frosting like this. Did you hold, did you yeah, bring it out? Yeah, that, no, the box, it. the box. Oh, well, I also just grabbed it like this. There's a Barbie on top of this gorgeous cake that says happy birthday and it's pink. And there's a bunch of liquor bottles on top. Very vintage classic liquor <laughs> bottles, which I love. Cause if I'm drinking, it's gonna be one of these. And I'm throwing up in a toilet of sprinkles and I'm editing. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah that's so cute so we were gonna do the gymnast one where she's flipped upside down with <laughs> balls everywhere from that I'm night rich. where you got drunk and you're tumbling funny. yeah but she found the she found the editor one i was like you the editing I, one is I feel really like we're never good see that one again. this is so Cute. That's really thank good. Thank you, Leah. I know Leah's behind this. Huh? You could win the. I, I made that. Leah, thank you. I love you. And, you're, and you know what? You're gonna see the video of me making that. Then so. get out of the background. <laughs> it's, it's like you're on the British Bake Off. Like Zane, what have you got for us today? Well, <laughs> this is cute. Lovely, lovely sponge. Have, Zane like, surprisingly does love baking. I did. Well, I didn't bake. That. Oh, you didn't bake it. No. <laughs> I've never oh. seen Zane bake in his life. I've oh. seen him bake. What? I literally made you a birthday cake last year. Did you? From scratch? Yes. I How love fun. it. That's a fun cake. I don't even want okay, to touch well, it. um, now get it out of here. Wait, no. <laughs> do you guys? Well, I just want to. Oh, yeah. Like, well, no, we can't. We can't, can't no, we'll eat it after. Yeah, we'll eat it after. I feel like this is going to like make my. Mm. It's really good icing. Oh, okay. It's kind of like light. Oh, that's a good icing. That's a good mm -hmm. icing. That's that buttercream icing. But not that like bad ice cream or that uh, bad icing. You know that one that's like always cool at like, a, like a, a church or a funeral? Yeah, it's horrible. I don't know why people Who's use that as icing. Cake at Thank funerals. you. This is so cool. I can't get over it. Yeah, the wake. They'll have like a cake. People have cakes at funerals. Like a, a wake really? cake. Really? Yeah. A wake, a wake cake? Yeah. You people do not have wake yeah, cakes. Yes. Yeah. You bake, then you wake, and then you cake. Wake it. <laughs> 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 wake and bake. <laughs> now I'm only gonna think of that. I feel like if you, every funeral I've gone to, there's there's some cake. Yeah, it's like a black and white photo of the person. Yeah, never forget. Always, and then you just cut them up. And cake. And you have to think about it. Heath, cake is like celebratory, and you're celebrating their life. I know. I wake and bake, shake and bake, baby. <laughs> the second part of your gift, Mariah. It's very time sensitive. I have to give it to you today. Thank God we are recording. But this is this. You're looking at the screen like it's a video. I well, something came you. up, and I'm distracted. Yeah, now. pull up the video, Gordon. <laughs> this is the second part to the to gift. Staten to Staten Island, mom. Here you go. Let me see if she's here. Oh, oh my bad. Oh. Let me tell her to come in. It's right there. It's right behind you. Miss Mariah Amato. Thank you. Surprise, Shadi. August 25th to 26th. Oh. <gasps> Oh, so hell tomorrow yeah. starting Wait. at 12 p.m. You have a two day, one night extravaganza at getaway the at the Langham oh, Hotel. Oh, yeah, baby. Everything has been prepared. Everything has been booked. Really? What? And everything is under my credit card. So spend as you please <laughs> until the morning after. Actually? And, um, Wait, and you're not going to go by yourself. You get to go with Heath because you're oh, a couple. Oh, bitch. Did you not know? No, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's wow, a wow, Zane. Did you think of this or you asked yeah. him? Mar <laughs> How, who would know about the Langham? There's think a Langham in LA. Pasadena. Yeah. Yes, and it's stunning. Oh, the pillows. Itinerary was my idea too. Right? Zane, this is <laughs> No, you awesome. said the thing itinerary, but you made that itinerary. Thank you. This is sick. I actually Thank asked you. to go to the Langham for my birthday. Oh yeah? Know. Yeah. I was like, I really just want to do like one night there. Oh, really? Oh, perfect. Well, it's funny that I knew that. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I swear to God. Really? I really didn't. No, I called him. I was like, we're, we're going to send you both to the Langham for Mariah's birthday. Oh my gosh. That's what awesome. What day can we do? That's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. So you're going tomorrow. Tomorrow. <gasps> oh shit. That's tomorrow. So fun. Okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right in Pasadena, right? Thank you, bags. It. Yeah. I didn't, cool! <laughs> I didn't want to put too much in there because I didn't like, I wanted you guys to do your own thing in between. There's a whole itinerary. So it says 12 p.m. check-in, 1 p.m. lunch at the terrace, 4 p.m. couples massage, 8 p.m. dinner at the Royce, Friday, 8 a.m. breakfast in the room, 12 p.m. checkout, enjoy spa. That's lovely. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Of course. That was freaking awesome. So there's no budget? I was gonna <laughs> give, I was gonna, uh, we're so gonna do no it limit? next week. And I was gonna give it to you at your birthday this Saturday, but we had to do it this Thursday. That is so great. Thank you.
This is awesome. Okay, and cry. <laughs> is there Wait another word for thank you? Give me a little tear. Is there a bigger give word than tia. thank you? Should we, redo, we should redo all of that. She should do it again. <laughs> 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 Let's do that one more time. I'm kidding. All right, bring out the cake again. Yeah, this is really, really nice. That's so sick. That's such a good idea. Thank Leah for, for putting it together. That was so <laughs> was sweet. Wow. I don't like... Thinking of like products to gift, like, I don't know. I just I don't like that. Unless it's like perfect. funny, but I couldn't think of anything. Is there funny. a golf course? Like is, is it on? The, okay, so it's like a resort. It's mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it does There's not a, feel the, like the you're Langham's here. Like a franchise. There's it's one in Chicago, one in London. Yeah, it's a really the nice Langham's hotel. Langham's a really nice hotel and really good. I just didn't know there was too. a Pasadena one. It's it's beautiful. It looks like a castle. It's huge. Wow. You I pull up. There's vintage cars out front. Little taxis. Oh, they have that out there? Yes. Oh, it's totally nice. different than the Chicago one, right? Yeah, totally different vibe. It's oh. more like almost Beverly Hills Hotel meets medieval. <laughs> <laughs> medieval <laughs> times? <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> no, not. it's just, uh, it's like old money, classy type feel. Exquisitely haunted. <laughs> yes. Um, I think there's actually two 18 hole golf courses on it. Two 18, oh, it's, hey, it's Mariah's birthday. You're gonna be hanging with her, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm Thank really you. happy. Cool, um, thank you. I felt like I had something to tell you with that, but nope, nope, that's it. That's now, it. now my schedule's running through my brain. It'll it'll be fine. Yeah, I was I was a little worried about them. I was like, I'm giving it to her the day before. But it is in Pasadena. If I have to like exactly. run home, that's what's nice so about we, it. So we were we were talking to uh, I was talking to the guy that was helping us book it, and he was just like, um, because, because it, he kind of sounded stressful, like it was happening so soon. He's like. Oh, um, are, are, uh, is she gonna have to come from the airport? But I was like, oh no, they live 30 minutes away. <laughs> and they're like, oh, not, thank not, God. They, they thought it was like this whole thing that it was. Yeah. It was a 15 minute drive when we went. Yeah, it's not bad. 15? Mm -hmm. Jeez. Nice. So it's, it's honestly your birthday gift It's too, the so. ultimate know, staycation. That's what Zane got me, which is yeah. crazy. That's really great. Thank you. It's you're just nice to not have to worry about it while you're yeah. there, you know? You just, <laughs> what the hell are around. you doing to that cake? I don't have a spoon. This is, is that the one really we had good. the other day? Who made? We're gonna we're gonna have a little unwind with that cake. Yeah, we are. A little unwind and dine. Uh, no, care? it's not grossing. Okay. No, it's not grossing me out. I think I just had one bit of taste of it, so it like started. The, like, you know when you have to that sweet taste lingering. Oh, you, oh yeah, like and an then you're addiction? watching yeah. it continue to happen, and then you're like, should I be having more? But I shouldn't. Okay, let's get. And and, and and Mariah, yeah, we got we got we got to take the cake, <laughs> Jordan. Take the cake, Jordan. Mariah is almost done. Almost done. Almost she's done. she's about to go into a frenzy. Let's all go to the Langham tomorrow. No, I specifically did this shit so I can get work done. <laughs> and that is why I'm sending you both to Langham because I need to get work done and I can't be here fucking footsin and fotsin around do, 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 with the fucking win, squirrels. I can't, I can't, I can't. I need to get work done while you guys and are And to clarify, fun. if you do not see me at Mariah's birthday, it's because <laughs> I'm planning my brother's birthday at the exact same time at our house. Mind you, he didn't know until- No, dude, right when I like sent you guys like the heads up that I was gonna be throwing the party, he sent me the text. Well, like, I was because... sitting there designing my brother's invite and I'm with my brother, we're in London, we're having a great time. He's so excited about his party and, we're, and he, says, it's hey, right. we're having it's Mariah's right, birthday. It's okay. I know. As soon as you found out, or as soon as you texted us about that, I texted Heath and like, hey, you might want to send those, I might want to send out those invites because people are probably making plans for right. the weekend, which yours was a plan. So. But he might come to Catalina. I might oh, come cool. to Catalina. I gotta we'll look into that. If you don't see him there, but we're not in a fight. fight. <laughs> we're not in a fight. Because I know people will oh, probably yeah. fucking think that we're in a fight. But if anything, it makes for great stories for me <laughs> to react Wait, Zane, to. If we see those comments, let's just like yeah. them. <laughs> people, there are some people that think that we hate each other. Like I know. All of us. Like we I don't have other lives. The, the fact that they think we can hide that. Like I literally <laughs> wouldn't be able to sit in a room and do a podcast with somebody that I'm just oh, like, Oh, true, Fuck yeah. You. Yeah, we like to keep the magic though like alive when yeah. we come and see each other, yeah. you know, if we and were around still, each other all the and time. And it's still like, people forget, it's still very <clears throat> stressful doing this. Like uh, we're all anxious every episode yeah. like, having to be in front of it a It doesn't get easier. It does not get easier. I can't all. go a week without posting something of Heath, his freaking foot or something, and they think we broke up. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> but that, that just shows like people mentality nowadays but like, don't but aren't we uh, are you still the same way though with other people no what do you, I, know? I, dude, what, what, on, what do you mean what do you mean i'm on I still dude way? i'm on facebook and i'm just smelling divorces really oh like, i'm like God. oh i'll see i'll see like you know this like mom that i know who has like two or three kids and i'm like where's dad haven't seen dad in any of these pics for a couple of months oh and then maybe next, he's taking the picture well i don't know a lot of selfies a lot of self anyways 
there have been like two or three cases where I, I'll, t I'll start gossiping with a friend. I go, I think they got divorced. And they go, I think so too. And then we find out. It's crazy you're still in that Facebook world. I I left that Facebook world like years ago. Because it's entertaining. I don't know. It's like watching. I hop on to see like my high school friends. That's the thing. I, I feel like and none of my friends post on Facebook or none of, not none of my friends. None of the people that I have on Facebook that are in Florida, I feel like they don't post on Facebook anymore. So I don't oh. know what's going on. When yeah. they start having kids, they're posting yeah. all the time. Got it. So what, you got to wait till they have kids. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, everyone it, I went to school with is on like their third or fourth kid. So they're posting like first day of third grade. I'm like, are we late? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. oh, we are That's late crazy. to the game. Well, we're in a different time. One of, one of my friends just posted. It's their kids first day of middle school. I'm like, Bro. Wait, wow. what? From our high school? Yes, insane. Wait, Heath, when did they have this kid in senior year of high school? Uh, <laughs> sophomore year. Of high school? And then you're our, 11 our in, other six, friend, in middle school, you're 11. Our other friend had his kid in uh, freshman year. Dude, they'll be in college by the time your kid even enters kindergarten. Like, that's crazy. It's insane. Wow. That's crazy. I, it's funny. I saw this going through how old we're getting. I saw this tweet that was like, if you're in your, if you're in your 30 or if you're uh, pushing 30, and you're posting a P be real, how about you be real and take care of your kids or something like that? And I remember seeing that, I was just like, uh oh, <laughs> this late. is it. Like this, is, now it's gonna be the 30 year old tweets, like all like the old jokes. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Eh, piss off. I don't know. Like our generation, I know we're in we a different, grew up in social I feel media. Like, I feel like this next generation is gonna be even late to having kids than we are. Is it? Is it just this city? I, I feel like it's, it's just city. this city. Yeah, of course. Because everywhere else, everybody People is have down. It is a kids. totally different lifestyle being here. Yeah. I feel like whatever age everybody moved here, that's what age you still feel like. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It definitely makes I, you feel like you're falling behind though. I think yeah. too, um, like if we stayed back home, we would have a job that would be like a guaranteed, you know, career. And that's something, you know, I'm making this much money every month for the next 40, 50 years of my life doing this career if I want to yeah. do this. Like yeah. if we stop tomorrow, we stop making money. Yeah, You know what I mean? Like we constantly have to keep feeding this machine. Mm -hmm. So it's like our us working and doing this like every day or every week, whatever it is, is different than people working a real job, I guess. Yeah. You know I guess what I mean? so. Real, well, we should ask the audience. Do you, if we <laughs> settle down and have kids, would you, would they still keep up with us? I think they would. No, but I'm saying we have to keep like doing social media as a career. Like it's, if you you're talking about after kids, after you have no, kids. No, like right now we yeah. have to keep doing this. This is how we. Correct. Yeah. You know, and I feel so, like it's been so far. It's, it's we're we're so far and into down. it. Yeah. But I don't, I think your, your life, will change. I don't read everybody who's successful's Wikipedia page about where they were when they were 30 and then what they ended up doing when they're 40. It's just series of chapters and evolving. I don't know. Like I'm optimistic where it's not it's not that cutthroat that you have to like commit to. I it. know I know we've talked about this already. Do you think they're all going to be let, let me say 45 years old still in a room doing a podcast I hope every so. week. Yeah. I hope so. There's, you know how many 45 year olds? But, but you, you understand like when everybody has families, we're, we all have to make the decision yeah, to the move the in the same it's area. find a babysitter night and we're going to. Exactly. And we're going to have to, we can't be living like two hours apart. Like that's not going to work. We're going we're to have to find but who somewhere. Knows? Technology could be so freaking amazing where even if we're doing it over Zoom. <laughs> it's we a box are, in we, everybody's <laughs> house. It's like a fucking. Oh, oh. it's decorated it's, differently. It's VR. There's, yeah. yeah, it's the hologram things that they make now. I That'd be know, insane. But there's no delay at all. Like it really feels yeah. like we're talking to each other. That's like, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised by 45 if they had something so good where we wouldn't even have to be in the same room. Yeah. And it probably just edits itself, you know? <laughs> it's just done. Or Ryan, I can Ryan's edit like, while we're oh recording. My gosh. Just Pretty insane. That's exciting to think about that. I think it's going to be That's cool. if YouTube is still, you know, someone could just flip the switch one day on YouTube. Bye bye. You know what? Let's just shut the whole site down. All of it. Oh wait, YouTube or just the all of the internet? Both. This might sound stupid, but what is the internet? How does it work? Is there is there somebody you know, <laughs> like is there somebody that has to do maintenance on the internet? You know how like sites have to be. Yes, there's servers, and, and data where, servers. Like what is the and internet? Where is that? The and internet is, is that? a series of interconnected. Like it's a network of computers communicating towards each other. But what are they, like what, I, I I guess I just don't. Well, they're either connected via like the ethernet cable or now via Wi-Fi. I know. I, and that's I get how they communicate. But what, like the, the, and then the, the data. This is a high is, episode, guys. The data is stored on uh, data processors. Am I wrong? 
right? Like, you know, you see those big, huge rooms filled yeah. with all those big black boxes. That's where like all the memory is stored. But there's oh, not, but there's not somebody this. in control of the internet. Not like I know you can make a browser, you can make a Google, a Yahoo. Yeah, like your that. internet service providers like but, are providing you the data, the broadband speeds that you have to pay for of what you get access to, well, like a gig a second. Enough. That's for damn sure. Two hundred fifty megabytes per second, all of that stuff. And they can hold the threshold of how much data they want to give you. Does that make sense? Stingy mother. And then your government can also own that can own those companies, and they can regulate what you can and can't access. It's just it blows my mind that we have that. The internet was a mistake. <laughs> it really was. You're, you're losing me. Yeah, losing I was. Me. I was trying to. I was trying to connect something with. <laughs> I could, no, I was trying to connect the. I, wires. I was trying to take that and connect it with something. I was like, ooh. What yeah, What phone nothing. service do you have? AT and T. Uh, so, do you get unlimited data when you're traveling internationally? Yeah. Yes. So you can be on Verizon TikTok too. and watch as many TikToks as you want. Yeah, when you're you can do anything. Dude, uh, Verizon, it's like half a gig a day. <laughs> And then if you if you go over that half a gig, you have to pay ten dollars. Wait, what was? I think mine was I paid once, and then I got I was good for the yeah. rest of the time. I Maybe, think it depends on the plan that you have. That was that was the daily travel pass. Maybe I think I, I paid like ten dollars a day for unlimited mm -hmm. Wi-Fi. I didn't get unlimited. You Verizon? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. But I can see you also getting like the. The cheap shit? Just like the lowest package you could possibly get for a I Trust me, I've looked into my options. I couldn't find it. But maybe I just relied on my Say, mom. He, he's saying with Mint Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Boost Mobile. Jenner Boost Mobile. Where are you at? <laughs> that shit was like half a walkie-talkie. Do you remember that? Like, <laughs> maybe, where are you at? The <laughs> Nextel. Or the, yeah, the Motorola type Nextel phones. Or the um the radio the ones. Click, click the, what was it? Click the talk. It was like pretty much a voice like memo. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> that shit walked. <laughs> Walkie talkie. talkie. Good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I wasn't here the last episode. I was in London. It was a really great time. Oh, yeah. How was oh, that? It was. Have you guys been to London? No. I, no. Never been. The Olympics. Oh, did you there? like it? I loved it. And yeah. I loved it even more because I really got to experience it because everybody that we were with, it was like half locals. So they oh. really, and it was for a month and a half. So we really got to like go to the like spots yeah. where it wasn't touristy. It was like really exper experiencing the best London. That's a good way to do it. Cause yeah. like when you do a big international trip, sometimes you're like, oh, this isn't like, it is a vacation, but you're also there on a journey. Yeah. You're going to work, you're going on tours. You're it, doing all exactly. the stops. You're going to museums. You're putting in 10,000 steps. I don't a like day. that. I don't like doing that on like international trips. I like to, I want to do what everybody else is like. What everybody you want like, to live the, like a local? Yeah, I want to live like a local for sure. So I'd done that like the this is my fifth time I've been to London, but this time it was like my dad's first time. Oh my gosh, fifth time? Yeah, fifth. Yeah, How do you have that? I thought it was your first time. It will be nice. No, uh, a fifth time, and I went with my family, and but my dad hadn't like seen a lot of stuff, so we did tons of museums. Went to Buckingham Palace. Go, oh, we, wow. we got to walk through it. Like, is that the most expensive? It's the biggest. Uh, it's the big. It's like the. Um, it's like where the Queen lives, yeah. or like it's where you know the. Oh right, right, right. Where they come out of like I don't. Know. Where they have the guys standing in the front. Like Bucking, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Buckingham That's Palace. Buckingham Palace. You want to live there? You have wow. to marry the Queen. And then a it's private beautiful. party at the Buckingham Palace. That's cool. Yeah, it's and it's really everything but, is just clean. I love the people too. I love like the well. The queen is now she's in her what is it called? Her platinum jubilee. It's her seventieth year of being queen. What? That's insane. How old is she? Like ninety five. Wow. Or she w became queen in nineteen fifty three when she was like thirty years old. She's late twenties. Seen it all as a queen, dude. It's insane. And she is a style icon. Yeah, absolutely. Do you think she picks her outfits, or they're just they're just like you're wearing this? No, today. I bet she has. I bet she. I bet that's her favorite thing to do. You I think bet she, just she, she probably gets she excited. Yeah. Oh yeah. I bet she loves but, that. But I never felt more like a peasant though, like going <laughs> through the hallways and being there. Like you're not even like dressed that nice, and you're in like the royal hallways, <laughs> and you're looking at all of their gorgeous stuff, and it just felt weird. Like I. Wish I was invited and not like paid to come in and be yeah. like, look at all of this. Yeah. It's marvelous. That it was I feel like it does make you feel like a peasant, like just yeah. being in there and paying to be in there. What are yeah. the tour hours? Because that's where they live. So like well, aren't you in there or is there they're like just like eating like, dinner and yeah. just walking by? <laughs> <laughs> but there's just that there's the queen just like <laughs> Like Madame Hussein's, whatever the frig it's called. You open it up, she's like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's she's in like here. in the bath. Like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> they have like a towel for her. Like. 
<laughs> we, have, we have guests. <laughs> well, uh, we walk through all the state rooms and that's basically all the rooms where they host in and there's tons of private quarters and stuff. But usually the queen apparently well, doesn't even live there. They have properties all across England. It's like 100,000 square feet. So I'm sure you probably won't bump into anybody. Yeah, there's, mm. it's a compound, but- um, how, how much was the ticket to be in there? I don't know, probably not that much. Like. Maybe I'm 60, just curious 60, because 60, 70 that goes now? straight into that goes straight to the family, right? Pretty <laughs> much. But they also they also donate and fund a lot of things. Got and there's it. also tons of workers that work there. Like the money isn't. I all bet in you that pockets. money is nothing compared to like uh, have, well, if you, you were to put I mean? a number to like what's what what they have. It's it, they own real estate. The royal family owns has a lot of. It's not their power. No, I know. No, I know. They it's have all like a the bunch real, of real estate. estate. But like I'm I'm saying, just like. Everything billions all together. Billions. Billions and billions. One but years. also what was so weird, so it then we went to um to go see like all the royal jewels and stuff. Like all rubies. The, oh, the rubies. I so like that. see that okay. I love that you love that. But when I was there, I was like, I what are what I We we always talk about we love that tour shit. Like you yeah. love going up and looking yes. at all the diamonds and being like, wow. No, not necessarily the diamonds, but like when we went just to go to things. the Vatican, like I wanted to just go in. Like I just, it's one thing to look at it, but to be able to walk in somewhere and see it is so much it's cooler. It's just historic, so much history. I'm oh, so yeah. pissed we couldn't go into the Colosseum when we were in Rome. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, just I was like, I just want to go in. in. Yeah, I really wanted to see what that like, looked like. You saw like Yes, crowns. oh, I saw all wow. of the crowns. I saw a bunch of golden spoons. I like, saw the biggest punch crazy. bowl I've ever seen oh, in my life. That is crazy. Yeah, that was, it was pretty bananas, but after a while, you were like, this shit, I, I was like, where are the security cameras? Like, why are they putting all of this stuff out for us to look at? I mean, know? they're obviously like protected in like replicas? a- I just can't imagine being that rich and going, have the people come and see my look stuff. Look at my diamonds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come on. Oh, you want to come look? Pay yeah, me look. $25 to look at my diamonds. Yes. Maybe like they're that's, replicas and I, they have them really like locked Well, there's a, there's a bunch of people that want to see it and they can't do it for free because that's just, that's a lot of, you know, a lot of time and money that like workers and shit. So Did you, you see like party. that? That's what yeah, I want to cool. see. A real king's, is yeah. that a king crown? But I don't know. After you've yeah, seen 10 of them, by the time you see that one, you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can see that. I would oh, God, imagine like going to the wedding, like my, the party. Oh, <laughs> oh my man. Gosh. My favorite is the people just taking pictures of that shit. Every little thing on display, a picture. Like, oh. What are you doing with oh, it? No. Uh, what they, are oh, you? I'm like, yeah, they take pictures of it. I'm like, what <laughs> it, are you gonna? Because you know they're not going back to it and like looking through it. Like there's, right. it, what are you doing it's just with a that? Baby, you know, this baby boomer generation. They're just so excited that they have they, they can, can take, take as many photos as they can. Yeah. So they're gonna just take it. Like I loved when I'm I was- I'm nodding, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in um, Egypt, going into the museums and seeing all the different artifacts that they've found, like that is, that that's was so exciting unreal. to me. Oh, like yeah. seeing it in person. Yeah. I think certain, sh I, I think that's really cool. I don't think that I don't think that is as cool as like seeing inside a pyramid or seeing inside a Coliseum yeah. because like cause uh, I mean I'm fucking crazy like I, I would see the Coliseum as like Game of Thrones like fucking yeah. map you know what I mean I see them like this is where like people like were B battle people battle to the death here like it happened right here I think that's like really fucking it's crazy, like, crazy. they would they would there was like different levels and they would bring shit up out of the ground and then they would do naval battles in the Coliseum. Yeah. Like and fill it with water. Like, and the fact that we were eating at a restaurant right next to there, like people were having fucking pizza. marching. We're having pizza. People were marching so to their death. Death. Like yeah. you're gonna die yeah. today for everyone's Whammo. entertainment. And it was almost like, I feel like it was an honor to die in like the call scene, yeah. right? Like in a battle. <laughs> At least I'm going out for the Yeah, it's, that's nuts. The king watched me die. And oh. the only people that truly saw like, or truly knew that like, oh, this isn't like honorable at all is like the people at the top, like the queen and king, like probably watching that shit, like people dying, like, yeah, like yeah. them all dying. Oh, we, yeah, like, there's we, no way they saw Are you not honorable. entertained? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then we went to like Westminster Abbey, which is like the famous church of London. And that's where that like that, the royal weddings one? have. It's the big uh, <gasps> Gothic architecture. That's the one that like burned down, no? No, you're thinking of Notre, Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Oh, Notre, Notre oh. Dame. Um, sure, yeah, you know, Westminster Abbey, but that's where like all of the famous royal- um, The weddings? The royals are buried, like King, Queen Elizabeth is buried there, like King Henry, oh, that's and you cool. see their that's like insane. tombs. Never in my life had been more tempted just to go like, <laughs> yeah. what is, what is in this? Uh, let's let some demons out. Yeah. Like, that, okay, so I, I, 
I could relate because that's how I felt when we saw, uh, we, we went to <laughs> Elvis's house and saw his like grave. Oh, I was he's like, buried at Graceland? Yes. I never what? knew that. <laughs> I know. How has somebody not dug that up? What do you mean? Maybe, I don't, maybe he's just not in there. Maybe it's just he's, like for he's sure. He's alive. Like, he showed up at his own funeral. Like there's, there's crazy people out there. Graceland is like under uh, security control like the whole time. There's no way like you can go and get away with that. And they're also yeah. kind of blocked off, but- that, that was like just freaky going, that's them. And it's like death 1542. And you're like, huh? Like America wasn't even like a country. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Like the new world was like just discovered less than like a yeah. hundred years ago. And you're looking at- a Are these, uh, was this like the crazy. coffin that was like in the in the building? Like yeah, on the floor, it, right? But like, no, but the thing is that they're buried way down. They're not like, they're not like right under that. You know what? That's uh, a good question. Cause right? like, because I'm sure that's just under. like a, a, but a top. Don't, they were like these huge, Things, yeah, I yeah. Guess. It's like a beautiful, like it's almost like what you see in the. It's like, not the, like a dresser where you they, pull it. No, in no, there. no, no. I know that. I know that. I'm, t- I'm talking about like like a coffin, but like they're not at the top. They're like they're they're, they're deep. deep. Yeah, down. it's probably and something just covered. Like a, there's just that mold of like their body over it. Like it looks like an Egyptian tomb yeah. kind of a yeah. thing. Like a mummy. So, that shit was right there. Yeah. Like you saw that box. It was right <laughs> in, that in there. Yeah, it's almost like you actually pushed the top, <laughs> and it's fucking. You can. <laughs> So that's why, like, I guess I thought that they were right under it because yeah. of just the mold of their body in a way. But um, that was pretty freaky, but cool. Um, got to see where Shakespeare buried and all of that. Whoa. Oh, my all in the church. Did, like, you, did, did you see cool. any plays? I know you probably Dude, saw a fucking I play. Saw, I saw a play. It's called Madhouse. And guess who was in it? David Harbour, a hopper from Stranger Things. No way. He's He was in the play. Like, no, he was watching or he's in the play? In the play. So it was so cool getting. That's cool. And I didn't even know that we had tickets to go see it like we were having dinner and my dad's like all right we're about to go see this play i'm like we're seeing a play and i go what's the play he goes oh it's uh, it's called madhouse it's with um bill pullman who's like the dad from casper and a bunch of other really great stuff and he goes in david harbor and my brother and i go david we're seeing david harbor right after this he goes yeah we got to go see this play, and it was just so cool seeing him from Stranger Things. Wow. And like, I love. I just can't believe he's doing that play right now. I thought I figured he'd be doing a movie. Well, or- you know who he's married to? Who? Lily Allen. What? Yeah, David Harbour's married to Lily Allen. They- no way. Fuck you. Fuck- yeah. That's crazy. And then, um, I, don't, I don't know, we did a bunch what, of other did, stuff. Did you, were you drinking all their like uh, uh, their UK the beers? Like? And their, oh yeah, a lot fish of- Fish and chips. A lot of Amstel Lights, a lot of Guinnesses. The food, I kind of hate London food. Whoa. Like, bangers, yeah? bangers and they're like breakfast, it's like sausage and beans. And like- Oh yeah, you H- have to- P sauce. Uh, oh bro, yeah. what is up with HP sauce? I don't know. Have you had HP sauce? I, wait, P, it's like P-E-A? H- no, it looks like H- Harry Potter. It's the- <laughs> Two letters. Oh, I thought you were talking about pea sauce, sauce right? because that sounds it's like, like their ketchup that's on every table. It's like a brown sauce that kind of looks like a barbecue sauce. Oh, if Jordan, it's a barbecue sauce, Jordan, I type like, that's an sauce. English breakfast. They have like tomatoes and like beans. That's it, crazy, huh? Baked beans. Like, that's crazy how you eat that in the morning. Baked beans and ham. Yeah. Like, it's good. Right but it, Oh, I remember I remember that sauce. Yeah. No, I never I never had it. But yeah, no, that looks like fucking barbecue sauce. It looks no like a, a weird A1. So they don't yes. have no ketchup? They don't have ketchup there? Yeah, they do have ketchup. Oh, okay. they do have ketchup, but it's just, it's never like what you're craving when you're looking at okay. it. Did, did you have McDonald's in London? You know what? I didn't. Why? What's it? Good. It's good. It's, they just, it's good quality food. The customer service is incredible. At McDonald's? Dude, it's like the Langham Hotel. At the really? Langham. That, what I've experienced. I couldn't believe it. Everybody was fucking buttoned up and like they were working like at a nice hotel. Okay. I agree oh. with you that like at a, at a McDonald's, the people who are honestly. working there like in London are like, Proud to be there. I don't know. They're probably yeah. getting paid like better to be there, but most other places, the customer service. How was the work ethic? Were they like really good? Dude, they're because they're not working on tips. So when you like buy a beer, you don't tip. Wait, in London too? So they don't weird. work on tips? That, that was like no. France, right? So they're, not, so they're not that like welcoming and nice to you. So you're just like, did I do something wrong? So like they the, got nothing to lose. That's yeah. What, so oh, they're just okay. like, are you got okay? It. And also they go like, I hey, think we how just are got you? spoiled because we're always treated very, very nicely because they are working for a tip. So when you go there, they're honestly just working. Like, why do they have to kiss yeah. ass to you? If you're, you know what I mean? Like, I get why 
I get why they're just like monotone. Yeah, it's just because they're not getting they're not getting paid any more than exactly. But your American side going are think you're thinking, did I do something yeah, is wrong? It me? Like I must yeah. be doing something wrong. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. like working a cash register. You're not like like overly I, nice. I was you're just like so friendly. I was so nice. I turned it on because I, no like, matter well, what you, kind of day. Well, I, well, I, he, I think your your position was different too because you're selling the products on the floor. Yeah, but. You're, I don't you're, know. Like, it, to me, it was like easier to be nice and like make a conversation because it made the day go by quicker too. It was just like, how's yeah. it going? How are you? Like it, it was, it was nice to like have people come in and like you yeah. just talk to them. Yeah. I get, but I, I'm a chatterbox. Like I love talking to strangers. <laughs> yeah. But like customer service in general is getting so weird. It, I called for uh, something for Mariah's birthday the other day, and I'm like, do you have such and such? They go, no. Uh, I was like, do the other locations have it? I, I don't. I don't know. You. You could try calling them like what back when I was working at Brooks. I'll be like, oh, sorry, we don't have the item, but let me go in the computer real quick. Let me check the other location. See if anybody nearby has it. Yeah. Call the store. Do you need just, their number to that? <laughs> Actually, let me patch you through. Let me connect yes. you with it. Like, like, you, have it was just like, you have to suggest everything. Yeah, it's just like, no, we don't true. have it. Bye. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah, that's just true. Package it nicely. Just package seems so it. different. It's so now. interesting. Yeah. I, uh, it's funny. I with customer service, we were actually me and Leo on the phone with the hotel, and um, first we booked the we booked the room right. We booked the amenities, the room, everything, and then we're like, let's book the spa. So we booked the spa, and then we get a call from the spa saying that they're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and we're like, what? Well, then now we have to rebook the oh, room, which whatever, oh, it's fine. Man. So we called back the front desk to to either switch the day or cancel it to rebook it again on a different day. Cause you know, rates are different with different days. Yeah. And I call and the lady is usually, especially a hotel. Very, no laying them. Yeah. And she's just like, um, no, no, actually, nope. It's, it's final. You can't do anything about it. I'm like, what do you mean? I can't do anything about it. I can't cancel it. Nope. You can't cancel it. I can't switch the day. Nope. You can't switch to another day. I was like, so I'm stuck with this for wait, what do you mean? Yeah. And I'm like, let me speak to my manager. And they're like, no, uh, there's no manager for you to speak of to. Of course not. And yeah. we had to get through like six different people. And then I finally got to a guy that sounded like he would work at a Langham oh. and was so sweet. And it was and probably, old. he was like, oh yeah, let me just switch that. And that should have been like someone that you're talking to at the start. Like it's right. crazy that you did have you to call work. Did you call back the original girl? It was like, also I talked to somebody no. and they yeah. got it switched. No, no. So maybe next that, time. Obviously the lady was on to it didn't give a didn't shit give a about. Shit. But you yeah. should have told her just next time this happens, can you give them this person's <laughs> number? Because they made it happen for me. Yeah, yeah. I Pay it forward. We could have, but we, then we'd have to call back. It'd and be like, a whole to do. It'd be a to do. Yeah. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. And we've got the app on our phones and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. Whether it's concerts, baseball, football festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying super simple. SeatGeek looked at the data and it turns out our viewers love Bad Bunny, Stevie Lacey, Harry Styles, and Kendrick Lamar, all of which are on tour right now. Zane and I use SeatGeek to buy tickets for anything and it's literally just the, the best and easiest way to do it and it's all right there at your fingertips and it's just so convenient. Exactly, not only do you have, can you get tickets for concerts, you can get it for festivals, you can get it for everything. games, literally anything. Just look it up and you'll be most likely find it there. And SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for green dots. Green means it's a good deal and red means it's not the best price. And don't worry, we've got the hookup. Use code UNFILTERED for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Make sure to click the link in our description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you, baby. You and know. also, you know, when you're in London, it's English speaking too. So you're like... Yeah. I don't know. Also, they just say things a little different. And so you're like, you'll hear it and you're like, I understood that, but are we, are we good? <laughs> because they go most of the time and they go, instead of saying like, Hey, how are you? They go, you okay. Or like, you all right. Yeah, right? Do I, do like, I look, oh, are yeah. you all right? Like uh, when you're walking up, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'd like a beer, please. But it's just their way of just saying, Hey, how you doing? Like, yeah. it's just, you all right. You all right? You're like, I'm I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> I love their lingo. I love the way they talk. It's 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 so it's, it's just cool. easy to listen to. Yeah, and it's very confident too. Like it's like Italians. Like I love the way oh, Italians yeah, and people confident. from the UK talk. What's That's like good. that? Yeah. That what do they call it? Like Cockney? 
Cork. Oh yeah, that cork nailor. Hey. <laughs> I, I love that shit. Okay. I think it's so cool. Yeah, like um, we we're watching that movie, The Gentleman. Yes. And just ever, I God, the way every, they all sound is there's so much regional dialects, and then there's yeah. so much like status dialects. Like it can say like how like wealthy you are because you talk a certain way. It's yeah. wild. Um, one thing we went to the uh, big uh, football game, soccer. Uh, the Tottenham Hotspurs. You watch soccer too out there? Dude, we went to the soccer oh, game. It and huh? it was it was wild going to an international, I, should I say be saying football or soccer? It doesn't matter, soccer, football. You know what he means. You know what I mean, and I just want to say soccer because it just helps just say my brain. We're in Not, America, you can say soccer. Okay, um, going to, I've never been to like a true soccer game yeah. like, at that scale. I had a hard time saying it again. And, um, <laughs> We go to it sure. and we had these like premium like seats. So we were kind of like in this like suite level area, almost like an airport lounge kind of How'd a thing. How'd you get that? Oh, cool. um, my friend, Will Derbyshire, his dad hooked it up. Oh, shout shit. out to Robert. Shit, sick. Um, he got us the tickets and stuff. So that was really great. And the food was good. And I thought I was expecting that it, maybe it is for more minor leagues or more different, I don't know, niche soccer teams, maybe I thought it was going to be this crazy rowdy thing. We're going to be drinking beer. People are going to be smoking cigarettes. No, you can't even drink a beer when you're in your seat watching the game. That Wait, was really the first thing. That was Where the do first you drink thing. It? So you have to drink as much as you can in like the lounge area up until um, you know the last ten minutes before you have to go to your seat. You can only drink wow. water in your seat. Wow, this they is, are classy. And this is what's also wild. Inside, so inside there, like, you know, the windows where usually if you're like inside, you can look out and see what's going on. Yeah. Right when the game starts, the blinds all go down. And so if you're inside, you can't watch the game outside. Interesting. So that one, then I was like, okay, well, that's kind of weird. And then if you go to like, if you get up to go to the bathroom and you go use the bathroom, you, you know how normally at other sports games, you hear the game yeah, yeah, playing yeah. over the speaker. So you can and like, pay TVs attention. And there's TVs on every corner. Nope, they're playing top 40 radio. Like, what? cause they want you to be in, in your, your be present. Be. Oh. It's this respect and etiquette for the yeah. game. And you I go, know what? That's I love like that. And there's no like replay clips, no slow-mo, no cheerleaders, no mascots. I just realized as an American, we have the junkiest. Just. Yeah, we are <laughs> yes. Yes. Chips, yeah. popcorn, <laughs> candy. Oh. candy. Oh. You, no, we are pigs. Yeah. And it wasn't, We're there weren't pigs. any advertisements anywhere. <laughs> I was looking, the signage was so minimal. Like, that's game. so funny. I love that. Yeah, it keep was it cool. Keep it classy. I think, and I think the, the game, game. games you're thinking about, I think they're all in like Spain, like Spanish countries, because they get they get rowdy. They, Everyone's drinking in their seats. I think they're. I think it's more fun watching a game in like I think a Spanish that's more country respectful than American. Too, I think, because like like they are respecting the game. Us as Americans, when we think sports, we think we, we're getting drunk. We go to Where get fucked we, up. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Yes, sports, drinking. It's just money. They're thinking about all the ways that we can like make money off of it. Yeah. Like sell them yeah. this, sell them that. Like, and, and, the, and, and, and the thing, well, here's the thing is that a lot of people are saving up a lot of money to be at an event like that too, because it is expensive to get tickets. So like no one's going to go sober. Like you want to go have fun, drink, because you're working all week to have fun on the weekend. I, I also think game. too, like <clears throat> having the, the popcorn and the chips and the people standing <laughs> up and the beers and then people are, you know, shuffling through getting beers through. It's like, it's distracting. Like you do miss plays. You miss parts of yeah, the game. It's like chaos. It's a vibe, I like, it's a vibe though. It, it, it and, really, it's And you hardly like, nice. you can't really like chat or talk like during the game. It I almost felt like it kind of a tennis match. If you're going to shout out something, it has to be about the game. Yeah. Like, Interesting. So I, I was like, just kind of trying to mumble to like my brother and I realized, shit, no one is talking. Wow. Unless yeah. you're part of a chant and it's focused on uh -huh. the game. Yeah. So there was just this etiquette I really like respected. Yeah. But it made you just look back going, shit, we have like just this. Is there like an MC or they're like audience interactions? Oh, there's like a. They don't do it like. Not, kiss cam. No, there's no kiss cam. None of that. <laughs> wave. But, oh, no way. But you know what? I think it may be different for whoever owns certain teams and how they want to run their stadium. Okay. Yeah. It may be different. It might not be for all, but. And I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like soccer games in America aren't that crazy too. Not as crazy as football. So maybe it's just like football that we're thinking about because baseball, people aren't getting fucking rowdy. Oh, oh no. Baseball's baseball. Oh, oh wait, wait, okay. Oh, so the few baseball games I've been to, it wasn't rowdy. It was everybody was like pretty much. That's because seats. nobody is going to a Marlins game. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they couldn't sure. pay people to show up at that stadium. Yeah, you well, got to do sure. major cities. The pace of baseball is a very like slow, oh, wait for the moment when it happens and it's yeah. crack and then it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. it's. There's a there's lot a of audience interaction because it's so slow pace. Yeah, But exactly. soccer is way more entertaining in person than oh, it is yeah. on TV. Because when I watch TV that on TV, is, you're I like- I think every sport's like that, so much better in person. 90 minutes for one goal, count me out. <laughs> <laughs> I need it's to pretty see, insane. I want some gratification I instantly. Now. I need, yeah, yeah. A pick yeah. me up. I need to be like, oh, we have 14 That's more right, points. That's basketball too. Again, like, basketball, I have, people, oh. whoop. Um, what happened? Oh, it's I like, thought you were looking at the basketball you just shot. <laughs> Jordan. It's like hockey though. It they don't have people passing out stuff. It's it's very you go to the snack bar, oh. you grab the stuff, and then you wait for the play to stop. And then as soon as the play stops, then you can walk through and go to your seat. There's really no room though to be fucking passing out snacks in hockey. It's uh, the same. It's a, it's like a, any any other like yeah. arena. Yeah, I just wanted like a little bit indulgence at the game. <laughs> like, I just Some felt like do. I like got ushered in and ushered out. Like it was this kind of psychological trick that they pulled on me. Yeah. Where like. I just had to be in my seat to watch to what would happen. Yeah. And if you miss the goal, you miss the goal. But the what, one goal. What, what was it like, like people watching? Though. Were they going to bars and drinking and watching the game? Like, was that how, like, what was that like? Hardly anybody was inside drinking. No, I'm talking about like, I know you were at the game, but uh, the, just the vibe of the bars that were there. Do you think that people would all gather up at a bar to watch a game like we Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were packs and packs of bars of people who would watch the game who weren't at the game. And those are like rowdier. Rowdy, okay. okay. Is, right. there, is there fun. tailgating? Um, yeah, yeah, there were a few tailgates, but not like heavy. It was in the middle of the suburban neighborhood. So you would see all these people like kind of cooking out at their house. You know what Aww. I think but is the, <laughs> this is the dumbest thing in the world. People that drive, deal with all the traffic, pay to park to go in to like a football game, but they don't go in and they just stay at their truck. Oh yeah. Drink in the parking lot. I, I, I literally don't understand I think it's that. Just, it's like going to a party. I think it's, I think I people, know. and you're around a bunch of people that like the same thing. Yeah, go to a so Jimmy it's like, Buff it, it makes it exciting, yeah. Well, Jimmy like Buffett tailgates up. are more fun than even going to the concert. Really? Oh yeah, dude, like they're fun. Cause yeah. you're with your people, like you all like are on the same level. I feel like, like you everybody would, likes the same thing. You would eat that up. I you like, I like doing that before grill. a game. And then yeah. you like go in, but the people like while the game's going on. But then you have to go in and spend more money. You already exactly. brought you have, out your shit. You have your drinks, you have your food, and you can watch a game. And you could feel like the, the energy. energy from the okay. stadium. I get it. I get it. Hmm. Man. Because when, when I'm at a game, I'm looking, I'm like, I'm bored. I'm going to go to the bar or I'm going to go here. Like I, it, sometimes it's just boring just to sit and look down and watch this game that you could barely see. It's kind of like comparing like the roller coaster rides at Universal, the VR ones to being on an actual roller coaster, you know? Like you're sitting in a roller coaster it seat, feels like but you're, the energy. you're just looking at the screen. But it's not quite. Right, it's almost there. Speaking of roller coasters, Matt was telling me <gasps> how- We should go to Six Flags? Close, but okay. we um he was telling me that the guy who made Roller Coaster Tycoon, the first one? 1999 Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yes. Uh -huh. he, oh yes. He coded that game all by himself. One guy. One guy. Really? One guy. The entire roller coaster. I was it game. like a college project or something? Uh, no, I, I don't think he was in college, but he just did it all himself. That's and he did it on so one crazy. of the most complicated coding systems that like, it was so next level where, you know, like most arcade games needed like a huge big computer just to give you that game. Yeah. It was just all on that CD-ROM. How? And, and he created an, Ecosystem of 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 sales, advertising, landscaping, ride mobility, That's insane. to making little individual characters move around independently Ooh, and getting that at like a hundred. Guys, just look at go to roller coaster or go to YouTube, go to roller coaster tycoon one gameplay and just just watch, just watch someone playing the game. Someone coded that by themselves. Wow. It, it's insane. beautifully done. Like yeah, that, it looks really good. Now, what was your strategy on? Well, sorry, I almost my did my What was your strategy? Oh, on biggest, scariest roller coasters. But it sucked making big, scary roller coasters because nobody would ride it. Nobody, yeah, or they'd throw up a lot. Yeah. Or garbage cans. Did you charge at the door? It made all the rides free, or did you charge the I rides? charged at the door, made the rides free, but charged the food and the drinks and the ice cream and the information kiosk and all that. I stuff. didn't, I had zero focus on that. I was just <laughs> all about the look. I wanted the grid Aesthetic. to be perfect. I wanted everything to be even enough. 
like if there was a garbage can on this side, I wanted it over the here. To- it, yeah, it's crazy how we thought. Like we thought that that was a real person. Like, ooh, I feel like they would want to look at flowers over here. Fucking yes, insane, like that. And it I wasn't would, something we liked. Is what I oh, would think about like that, that character. Yes, we were. No, I was not psycho. making. I was in debt. In <laughs> oh, bro, I know debt. you went to that bank thing. You went loan <laughs> yeah, all the way. Negative, up. negative, negative. <laughs> <laughs> you really thought they were to come get you. Sometimes you just play God. <laughs> you pick up that claw and just take them to the lake and just drop them. Sometimes I'd get so pissed if they didn't ride my ride. I'd just pick them up and throw them in the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Kill them. Kill them. <laughs> get rid of them. <laughs> but you know, sorry, I'm going to get back to the, the scary rides. I'd make the ride, like, I would try to mock uh, roller coasters in real life. Medusa. So I'd make Did Medusa make or Chikra. Yes. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go straight for a little bit and do the exact path. And if humans are riding it, I feel like these yeah. little people would ride it. And nobody was riding they were it. Picky. And I spent all that money. And you can't <laughs> spend the money and then and then remove it and get your money back. You nope, only get like it. half yeah. of it back. It's like, how about you tell me if the ride is going to be rideable before I, <laughs> yeah. I'm halfway done. Like give it a rating. Like when, yeah. you, when you would pick characters at Backyard Baseball and be like, they're really fast, but they're slow swingers. You know what I mean? <laughs> the little short guy, man. Uh, on Pare- uh, Pablo Sanchez? Pablo Sanchez. <laughs> Did you ever, did you, did you know the cheat where you got like, you can uh, get uh, Sammy Sosa? No. Oh, that was Backyard Baseball All-Stars. Wait, yeah. oh my God. I was, I, I didn't know what you were talking about. I love that game. Remember, yeah. it'd, be, it'd be the flaming watermelons yeah. versus the green gophers. That was good graphics and the juice for that time. Bo- the juice box. To was get- that, was that on Wii? Oh, the flaming. No, it was on the computer. Oh, it was on. Flaming melon heads. I played it on video game. Oh, I played it on the computer. Computer. Oh, oh you would just click that yeah. shit. Like, you'd be backyard, backyard soccer. Baseball, soccer. Maybe we're not talking about the same thing. It was like really weird, like weird graphics, but it was cool. And it was like the bat was like, the way it was moving was very was car- like not normal. A- Cartoon kids? Like they look yeah. like they're like in Family yeah. Guy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we're talking about the same game now. Yeah, What's we all played What's his name? Sanchez, game. Pablo Sanchez Pablo? was bald. He was short and bald. Had, look at him. Had, I thought he was so handsome. No, that wasn't it. That that's Pablo Sanchez. That's Pablo Sanchez. Shit, okay, that's not the Wait, do the about. do the team on the bench. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yes. I think you're thinking of we. There was no, like a we baseball. Wasn't, it wasn't we. It wasn't we. <laughs> you jerk it, it, it was it was Xbox. It was like PlayStation or Xbox. Look at that team. So the girl with the glasses. God, the graphics. I this is love what I was thinking about. This Wait, what the, were you I thinking love that game. Saying? Jordan, go to go, type in PlayStation, type in baseball. All Stars game and just see oh, what pops like up. Oh, like MLB. No, 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 not like Madden or that. It was, it wasn't that world. It was like a different graphics. Grand, so, and say, say cartoon. Grand after. Slam. Type in Grand Slam. Grand Slam video game. Jordan, you the way you type in Google drives me through. <laughs> type in place. A place. Is it that Zane Mega Baseball? The guy on the over to the right. Put cartoon. Too. Um. Put put plantation. Baseball or what? sorry, what? PlayStation. What? PlayStation. Hold on, PlayStation. Hold on, hold on. What what console was it? Try PS2. <laughs> Try baseball. Plantation. Game. Plantation. It'll probably come up. Grand. Do you say Grand Slam? Grand oh. Slam. And then type cartoon. Oh, oh Zane, is it oh, that slug down there? Oh, slug. Slugfest. That sounds familiar. Type in slugfest. But maybe I was remembering it wrong. I don't Did know. Do you remember it, NFL Street? Yes. Where, where he yes. was like. <laughs> You be playing these NFL Yo. games in an alleyway and you jump off the walls <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Bro, that was so good. That looks fun. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, wait. I know what that is. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Power Pro. What in the fuck? <laughs> wait, hold on. What in the free game with this? <laughs> wait, no. You got that in a sales file. <laughs> yeah. No, that's no. the one they give you when you buy the console. Let them speak. Oh, by the way, that is my assistant Leah's new dog that she just got a week ago. Her name is Rue. Can you all guess where the name came from? Uh, Hunger Games. Close. Schindler's List. <laughs> Close. No. Euphoria. Yeah. Oh. Because she is um, a recovering crack addict. The dog. <laughs> it's Rue so wasn't you, on. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think she's a puppy. It's three months old. Rue I wasn't know. on crack. Yeah. I thought Rue was on. Like okay, here bars. Oh, they're all, it's all crack, right? Good they're all the same. Girl. Everyone okay. give Rue a round of applause. Good job. Thank you, Rue. Great breed. She will rue the day. Okay. All right. Well, we got we got a few minutes to spare. Yeah. What do you guys want to talk about? I don't know. You, should we make something about me? Yeah, yeah. So, Mariah, <laughs> you um. 
Any questions about my life? I, w you know what? I don't. Okay. I got really could care less. I got nothing for you. But um, that's all right. Brian oh, talk. did you hear uh, that someone in Dallas had a tiger in their house? Got busted down wait. in Oak Cliff. Oh, I thought we already talked. I, I, I don't wait. I don't. So someone just had a pet tiger in their house. Yeah, this rapper from uh, who lives in Oak Cliff in uh, Dallas named Trappy Boy. Uh, I don't know. I think he has a song with some other big rapper. Um, he he had uh, apparently had a warrant out for his arrest for like a, some weapon that he owned or something. Mm -hmm. They go in his house and they find a tiger. He had a tiger, like a baby <sighs> tiger, but like still like a still youthful, a tiger, yeah. still a youthful tiger, in his like home in the middle of the suburbs in Oak Cliff. That's insane. Crazy. They took it away. I would, uh, yeah. It's crazy that people have pet tigers and like they don't understand like that shit can flip any day. Yeah. My favorite is watching those tigers or like the gorillas that were raised by somebody and then they let him into the wild and then the guy comes back like 20 years later and it like runs up and gives him a hug. Oh, and yeah. That, those are, those, those are that shit. Yeah, that gets that me. gets me. Mm -hmm. I think that's the coolest thing in the world. You got to be attached to that tiger. Otherwise, yeah. usually tigers and like chimpanzees, they only like one human mm -hmm. and everyone really? else they tolerate. But there's only like one. They, they have that they, partnership. They like. Oh, interesting. That's crazy. But I, I always think about that one chimpanzee that like ripped that lady's face off. Great. And no nope. doing great. <laughs> No, that was a real story, though. Oh, yes. That, yeah, that, was a, that was Did you see the kid who played Matt on Lizzie McGuire, the younger brother? You know what? I see him sometimes on my For You page, I think. Is it, that the kid that like pops up wait, on Wait, I think you're thinking of the Zoe 101 brother, oh, Justin. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the no, kid no. on uh, Lizzie McGuire, the brother, okay. he talked about how like Nope has that one big scene with the chimpanzee in the sitcom show. Okay. And he goes, that basically was me because there was like a few episodes of Lizzie McGuire where they had a he had a chimpanzee like best friend and had to film Wait all a these second. He had to film all these scenes with the chimpanzee like in bed with the chimpanzee playing a board game and I do remember that. Oh my god. Yeah, look up chimpanzee with chimpanzee. You Google you don't have to Google with. <laughs> Google knows chimpanzee. <laughs> sure. Jake Thomas. Oh wow, that's a cute chimpanzee though. Yeah, yeah, oh, but they're just they had a lot of scenes together. Hillary Duff I I feel like she's doing really well. She seems really happy. Every time I see like clips of her, like in interviews and shit, she just seems she's just- Her body is content. kicking too. Her, she's kicking, what do you mean? Stunning. Like her, she's just in shape. Oh, in shape. Oh yeah, yeah. And she's already had like what, one or two kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> Remember Aaron Carter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she like meets Aaron Carter, the Christmas special. Bro. And he's like, he's like, there's a mistletoe outside of his trailer. Yeah. Remember how the other girl on Lizzie McGuire, like her friend Miranda, that actress's name was like- I was gonna be here for Halloween. She was like one name. <laughs> she was like a Zendaya. Like her name was like Monique or something. The, her best friend, the black hair? Yeah, like that actress, her her real name was like one name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dad in Liz McGuire, his brother was David Carradine, who's like Bill from Kill Bill. How do you know that? That is just such a- Because the episode of Lizzie McGuire, where he really wants to master Kung Fu, he, J, uh, David Carradine comes on to the set and teaches him young grasshopper, teaches him all the moves. And then at the end of the episode, he like leaves him and the, and Matt looks up his dad. He goes, how do you know that guy? He goes, known him for a long time. He's like a brother to me. So is Kill Bill and Liz McGuire the same world? Who knows? Dude, who knows? Maybe. Wow. Do you think they should make Kill Bill the third one with uh, Maya Root or Maya... Hawk, you know Maya Hawk? Oh yeah, it's her daughter, yeah. I Ethan think, Hawk I th and Uma Thurman's daughter. Oh, absolutely. Daughter. She I should think come so back cool as the new Kill Bill. <laughs> no, you've seen, you've, seen you've Kill never Bill. seen Kill Bill. No. Oh, well, come on. You've never seen Kill Bill. Oh, you would hey, love that Hey movie. guys, how's the offer going? It was great. It was oh, you amazing. finished it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I saw that the other day on TV, and I go, yeah. I bet Mariah and Heath haven't even finished that show. Yeah, we did, and it was, I would watch it again. Oh, okay. Really? It, it was good. so good, so good. You know, you know what y'all gotta see? Bodies, bodies, bodies. Uh, Heath wouldn't like that, but I think Mariah would. It's this great like That's who done it killer or movie. That's like yeah, a I was slasher it's like, movie. It's a slasher, but like they did it in a they did it in a well way. I can't I can't describe it. A good who done it is we, the whole time you're thinking, oh, I know who did it. I know who did it. And, and then the not, ending, it's not even. I love who, that. Yeah. yeah, it's oh. it's good. They they really that's, kept that's, you. That's uh, what they do in Psych. Oh God, yeah. it's the best it's show. It's perfect the way Psych. they do oh, it. Oh, the show with the yeah yeah that that show was really good. Yeah. They did a really good job. You I feel like Matt never would know like that. until the end. Yeah, Psych. is that like an FX show? I don't know what it was originally on, but he like. 
acts like he's psychic. It and was that he, like, era when they had like Monk and Psych. Dude. And all those it's shows so were so good. good. It's so good. It's like actually really funny. Because yeah. it's like actually a mystery that you're trying to figure yeah. out by the end of the episode, but also it's a comedy. Yeah. Just so well written. <laughs> Feels like you're watching so like well The Good Place. <laughs> While watching like Law and Order, yeah. it was just such a good mix of so good. I always loved two House. <laughs> I love that was, House, that was goes, one of our family goes, shows. <coughs> you just coughed. Did you have a Slurpee <laughs> earlier today? Well, that's funny because at the Slurpee you must have been intoxicated with this thing. And it just like it's just this whole fucking like. Did uh, anybody else good. have to watch Monk in school? No, no, but I loved Monk. We I watched, watched all it. Of them. I feel yeah. like your teacher just liked it and <laughs> wanted I everybody to. Was it because they were teaching we like OCD? It, was, I it? don't know. We watched it every Friday. It oh, so your, so te- your teacher just liked the show. And they I don't you. know, but we had like questions. Like then she would like quiz us on it. it On the weird. show? What class yeah. was this? I, I can't remember. It was in middle school. It was a Monk oh, class. Oh, so nothing like crazy. It was just a, either a science or. Yeah, maybe it was history. Would that make sense? No, no, there's no class that would really make sense with that. Maybe in metal English, what, it was, English. I always didn't understand because my dad would always talk about watching the show Monk. And then I finally watched it with him. I was like, this has nothing to do with monks. Oh, yeah. I yeah, thought yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like, oh, I remember Detective But his Monk. name is just Adrian yeah. Monk. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember being so confused. I was like, this is Monk. I've uh, always wanted to meet him in person. The guy from Monk? Yeah. Isn't he also, he he's in Spy so Kids, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually know that until like years later. I watched it again. I was like, what? That's- you always do that. You watch like older movies and you look at all the side characters. Like, oh, yeah. Like older movies. And then who they like turned out to be. Yeah. It's there, really you cool. You always see like side characters are big actors now, but like you see them for two seconds and it's the craziest thing because. Did you ever see the sweetest thing with like Cameron Diaz and like Christina Applegate? No. Oh, I was watching that the other day. Jason Bateman just comes in a small character. Just has like a like a couple lines. Weird. I just saw a video of Jason Statham diving. Like what? what? Okay. Oh, swimming, diving. Yeah, it blew my mind. Like, just, like just like, diving. Just uh, like recently? He, he, no, when he was younger. It's the it's the weirdest thing. Hold on, I'll show you. Did he have hair when he was younger? Yeah. Or just always Jason hair? Statham. He's in nine. Whoa. Shredded. Somersault with one twist, two point eight. I never knew this. How cool is that? Oh. What? Bro, it's like uh, it's like Cody. Have you ever seen Cody Ko's diving video? He's he used to be a diver. He's, oh, dude, dude diver. Duke. Wait, let me look it up. What? Dude, you never knew wait. that? No. Wait, what? wait, let me pull it up, dude. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, Cody Ko is a great diver. <laughs> that is the last sport I would have put him in. Yeah. <gasps> wait, what? Yeah, pull up that. Yeah, wait, the clip on Twitter. The third, the third one, right there. That one. Yeah, That's just click crazy. that tweet. I think he's tweeted it. Oh my goodness. It. That's Cody that Co. is Cody Ko. Oh man. <laughs> that nuts? What? Whoa. The one I Smooth. That's so cool. I really crazy. liked the one that the girl posted to Cody. It was like a girl that it was it was a TikTok. Let me try to find that. I had no idea. I can't believe he can flip. He can do a backflip, yeah. a standing backflip. Cody like can. divers can be, tumble on the ground. I'd be doing it all the time. For, I'd be like if at a party, if I was drunk, I'd just <laughs> I would do flips all the time. Do you know who that Garrett Costo kid is on TikTok? No. You don't know him? No. Dude, that kid is just a wicked flipper. Do you know who he is? Man, what? <laughs> is this, is this I, a, he was at David's in, in house. In case you haven't noticed, I don't know any names. He's a kid. He kind of looks like Zac Efron. He's dating like a Becca Memes girl. He always has like crazy kind of hairdos. Who's Becca Memes? Yeah, these are like some TikTokers that are popping. Oh, Everyone has different feeds. Cut that out. Sorry, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, turn, I'm, I'm hitting 30. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> What do you want to do let's, for let's your get, birthday, Zane? Oh. My birthday's not for like three months. I know. Well, it's it's 30, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. Big birthday. Three months. What do you do for your 30th birthday? 30, flirty, and thriving. That's, yeah, it's supposed to be a big one, dude. Usually you just like have a family barbecue. Did Usually you just have a meltdown. Did, yeah. did y'all go to Dixie's? Did y'all talk about it? Mariah did. Oh, I got invited. I couldn't go. Good for you. <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. I got invited to Dixie's party. <laughs> First day is the school. You're going back to school. Did you ever like get really excited about playing in that first fit going back to school? Yeah, I would sleep in it. You'd sleep in the fit yeah. because you just Why wanted to break sleep? it in or you it, wanted, I, just you were so, so excited. excited. Yeah. You wouldn't worry about like the wrinkles while sleeping. I was and, in elementary school. <laughs> hey, there, hey, I know some elementary school kids that would iron their shit. I've seen them. Did you see that meme of that kid who like, <laughs> you knew this, you thought this first. <laughs> 
It was the highlighter shirt with the highlighter bag. Oh my bag. gosh, the match, the yeah. entire matching outfit. The it highlighter like Nike. Nike, 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 just a highlighter backpack, highlighter like shorts, it was white like, tee. You know, he planned this fit for yeah. so long for the first Aww. day of school. <laughs> I remember my mom used to, she used to get me all my clothes and like pick out my outfits and she would like lay it out for me. And for summer camp, she got me one year. <laughs> it was like, 10 different sets of matching top and bottoms. It was like the really long gym shorts and then the cut off uh, tank oh top. Oh. But it wasn't like the thin tank top. It was top. a t-shirt. It was, a, it oh, was no like shoulder. You um, could wear those? It was it was summer camp. Oh, okay, sorry. My um, but it was all Jersey material. And it would be like, it was oh, like Starter. Man. You know the brand yeah. Starter? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like the matching set and it was like top and bottom. And I just remember like going, and I wore it. You know what I mean? Like I, I would never say anything, but I just remember being like, I don't think this is cool. <laughs> I was like, I think people are probably making oh, fun of my man. fit. Just like matching every single day. Yeah, every every day was like either like yellow top, yellow bottom. It was Aww. like, you should, switched, you should have switched it up. Green top, yellow bottom. Oh, but it was it was just funny. I just remember looking back being like, this ain't it. Do you remember <laughs> Allen Iverson's shoes? Yes, and I wanted them so I bad. I got it a had pair, that, man. You I, had Iversons? I had Iversons, and It was dude. like white, and then they had like the red tongue. They had, I had like a, different. I had, a, I had the black Iversons. Dude, that was my fucking dream shoe. I was a cool kid walking into I school with those. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, the white gosh. with the red. Yeah, yeah. Go I to the had, right. Oh, go to the, no, 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 no. no. Okay. Close that. Close that. Those were the it oh, shoes. Oh, I had the one, that black one go down. Okay, up or to the right, to the right. No, underneath. Yes, yes, the, the two ones that are, that block. I had that one, yeah. Oh, Matt, I, I could I couldn't picture you with those shoes. See, I know not my style, but now you saw it all. My hands on some, and my mom got them for me. Dude, and how much I, were those shoes back then? They were probably like a hundred and twenty. Oh, that's expensive. And they were they were expensive. Oh yeah, hundred twenty is ridiculous for a pair of shoes. Back and then. my mom was like, absolutely not. No yeah. way. How much were Vans back then? I didn't know of Vans until I moved out here. I feel like Vans were kind of expensive. No, Vans were cheaper back then. Oh. Always like 60. Yeah, I always thought they were like 60 bucks. There was always like skateboarding shoes. Do you remember like Do you remember the uh, the Reebok toasters? No. Ooh, those were hot. Type in Reebok toaster. There was one kid at my summer camp that had these and he was he was god to everybody. No, it might have been Adidas. Did they Sorry, it might have been Adidas. That's it right there. Yeah, it was Adidas. What? Oh, that, those what? Like those, bro. Those what the hell like, is that? They look like Teslas. Oh, <laughs> those were it. Bro. I guess I can see those coming back though. I can see people looking at. They were so ahead of their That's time. Like a new Yeezy. Yeah, kind of could definitely wow. put that shit out. And look at the front out. of them. They were insane. Them? Are they like slippers. Yeah, they look like just. They had laces loafers. underneath and then it like covered it. Wow, very futuristic. Oh Dude, God. it looks like a DeLorean. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's out of like Dune or something. Yeah, that's. That's something else. That looks like it was made in a garage. It's squishy? You, they, like it, hard. It had like that scratchy feel to it. Oh, that like, like vinyl. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It made you like, Ooh. it gave you the ick. And he but, was the it? Yeah, dude. It th That shoe was hot. The it God. But I love That's how like crazy. people are starting to do. So like in the 80s and like when this came out, like this was like the future. People saw the future as like that shine, like that metal kind of like brushed. Yeah. 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 I feel like it became so not futuristic that people like look back at the 80s and they're like, wow, I can't believe they thought that was futuristic, but I feel like it's going there again. That, yeah. that brushed metal. Have you seen the new um, yeah. Hyundai Envision? Yes. Wait, the, the Icon. Well, they have the I Ionic 5 or whatever. Yes. But the Envision, bro, it looks straight out of the 80s like a DeLorean with like pixel tail lights. It's their new like prototype car they want to come out with. I'm here it for is, it. Switch up the cars. Bro, look at, cars look at this have been thing. Look, cars have been looking the same for the longest time. Look at how badass Whoa! that is. Whoa! Get I, out of here. That There's looks no way. Sick. You're selling this car. They're, they're going to be coming out with it. That is so cool. How fucking dope. It's electric. Fully electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Wait, they that's God. insane. How Switch much it. How much is that? I don't know. They haven't put a price, but like that is so cool. It looks look like at, a $500,000 car. Look, click uh, click to see the tail lights. It's all pixels, like the um, like the Ionic Five. I, uh, it's just so cool. I oh, yes. I love that. It is so badass. Oh my Zane, god, you gotta get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I the, love it. Hyundai I, Hyundai is wait, doing some great shit. That looks that that looks like way too expensive. Like how much is that car gonna cost? Probably it'll, like a hundred now. Probably be eighty. It'll probably be like eighty, but then they're gonna. It's a Hyundai. It looks like it looks like it. 
So it's it's based off of that car right there, the Envision seventy four, and that was it was designed by the person that made DeLorean. That's sick. That is sick. how thrilling. I'm excited. About I'm that. happy just design wise that someone's coming in and really shaking up the game because yeah. I'm I'm so bored with the way cars yeah. look. They look so safe. I agree. They are not safe meaning like. Just safe in terms of like design. That's, design. What I, that's why I don't like Teslas. They look too safe. They, it, yeah, looks they look like, like, it, just, it looks like a standard car. Yeah. Draw. Imagine a car in your head. There it is. That's yeah. Personality. Mm -hmm. I want to see some hard lines. Like yeah. how people are fashionable. Like how people Dude, dress. That thing is sick. Some people dress really fashionable. Make make cars like that too. It's yeah. Like, like this. That is, looks this, like sick. This is the direction we should be headed. Exactly. Imagine, imagine this, but SUV. Like, oh. Just sharp. That is that's definitely one of the sexiest cars I've seen in a long time. Uh -huh. And For it's gonna sure. have all just new stuff inside yes. it too. The AC, it's gonna be so cool. Like I don't know. Like Bro, I love it. Dude, I that is it. the coolest. Look at the headlights. It's really cool. Wow. That, that's the coolest. Are you sure that this is real? Yeah. Is they this, they just You better not be. This is some bullshit. Yeah, they too. they just started like putting it out there and it's talking like about it. Yeah, it's like twenty twenty three. What's the inside look like? Have they showed that yet? I doubt there's a picture already, right? Yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't. I haven't seen anything. anything. Uh, but it's probably going to be insane. Oh, if that's, that's it, that's where's cool. a screen? Oh, like a little bit. If more that's of a it, screen. that's cool. That's sick. It kind that's of. Dope. It's a little like modern vintage mix. Yeah, they have to bring a little vintage into it. They can't. Yeah, yeah. analog. That's yeah. like the vents are very. Old but look at like look at the top. There's no screen. But look at the bottom. Look at that knob. It's like a I mix like of both. Wow. It's got the screen behind the steering wheel. Yeah. Really oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's so cool. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking I, Tesla. I'm, Tesla's ruined my brain. Is it a coupe? Yeah. Oh, shit. How do I order? How do I order? There's probably going to be like a small back seat. How, how do I order this? Oh, I like the blue seat. I don't know. If I knew, we would we would have. I, I've worked ready. with Hyundai. You should have. So you and got I, connects? And I'm still on the roster. Hopefully for uh, Q4. Dude, it'd All be All right, you got sick. connects. Can you... Can uh, get yeah. me connected with that? If I can like bring a buddy. My Mate, first actually, car, my first car was a Hyundai. It was. What was it, Santa Fe? No, oh. my first well, car when I was 17. And then you had the- Hyundai XG350. Look, it's a- Oh. No, no, it's a grandpa car, but I loved it because the whole interior was like wooden marble, like an older person owned it. So it was in perfect shape, but it was old. It was a yeah. type in 2002. But it was like fully loaded for that time, Hyundai X right? Um, yes, it had like motor seats. Do It's like, a, it was a bluish one, if you want to be exact. Right there. But type in interior. It was very ahead of its time, but I loved this car. I miss seeing. <laughs> Here marble. I, I just thought it was so vintage and cool. <laughs> what? That was my first car. Look at it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. She was wood grain <laughs> gripping, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you got that shit in play. My mitts I had to buy. I had to buy a cassette that at <laughs> attached to my iPod. Yes. To put I, I don't get that technology. Yeah. I don't get it. I still don't get that. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I loved it. I had cream seats. <laughs> cream. <laughs> like she also had to order pine salt because she had to wipe that fucking. It wood was deck. Did you did like you have that. the? Uh, I wow. loved it and it was so clean. It was dude. Something about that black screen with the green, <laughs> like analog light. <laughs> the yeah. light. Oh, Everything. Yeah. What it felt was that? It felt good. It felt it's like right. the Matrix. That actually looks. Exactly it looks it's, like an old computer. It's like so this. interesting. Jordan and I were talking about just like technology. Like everything had like a look in the beginning. Like yeah. why was everything that off white plastic? Every computer was an off white plastic. It was the weirdest thing. And that oh, was. Oh yeah. Wait. The, what do you the, mean the, off white? Like the color. It was off white, and it was like it, everything was, like was plastic. Cream. Oh oh oh! You mean like, like uh, computers? So like yeah, computer. like this. Every piece oh, of technology yeah. was that. Well, they get more yellow over time too. Like, have you ever seen like yeah. an iMac now? It looks way more yellow. It's like an old newspaper because as it gets exposed, as it gets exposed to oxygen, yeah. it loses its uh, color. But now they've figured it out through chemicals and stuff. But yeah, it, it was all an off white. Like it's crazy the dust that would collect on that. Look thing. at that laptop right there. That top. Go to the top. But like that was a like that was like the first laptop. Look at that shit. Dude, my mom. Oh, yes. My, my God. cousin had one of those. Dude, my mom had one of those. That was like her old computer, and this was like two thousand like four or five. 
after so it was hers from the 90s yeah but she would let me use it because she's like there's no use for that anymore and i would just like pretend i was a spy and play on like this oh, thick man. big laptop it's great you probably you probably lost shit every day on that thing you'd work on something all day just and they're come for you don't it was only for it. Email. i don't think so because yeah you're just you doing word using, documents yeah you're you not weren't using it for like what we use watching it for now. videos on it <laughs> final <laughs> card uh, <laughs> we have to upload an episode <laughs> it was literally only for email I mean, there was other stuff you can do, but people only knew it to like, just quickly get in contact with somebody. Yeah. And I that love was it. pictures of people next to computers. It's such a funny, yeah. like. And then when that Ooh. shit came out, the oh clear God, with the color Apple. It. I hated that mouse. I hated it. I loved it. it. Circular I loved one. that Circular thing. one, I hated it. I feel like that's why they took off because it wasn't that white plastic and it looked like, wow, this is. And those key those white keyboards would get filthy. Ooh. Like your yep. fingertips. And they would not clean it either. Oh, the Macintosh. What a great But like, computer. I feel like technology doesn't have like a look. There is no like. Well, you think there's something called analog, like futurism, which is actually really cool. It's a subreddit that Mike and I like of, of futuristic things, but that are using that type of technology. If you've ever watched this show called like Maniac, it's set in the future, but stylistically that kind of stuff is in for technology. Okay. Like, so hopefully seeing that car that our generation, we're going, to, we're going to respond to things that look like that. Like right now, people buy like like my keyboard right now, my computer in my looks bedroom like looks that. like that. I, I I love the way I, like I the love clicking. this. Yeah, yeah. It's now beautiful. the keys are like silent, so you don't know what you're clicking. Yeah. and these pop up more. So interiors of our cars, or maybe like how we look at some pieces of technology, will start looking more like older stuff, like cameras already. Now we're trying to go back to- Oh, what, like Leica's. Leica's yeah. are trying to look like back. vintage yeah. cameras, but hopefully the technology that we have, like our laptops start looking older, yeah. but still are, are just I'm down. as advanced. I'm down for that. Let's, that, do, that a, let's do a dial up internet ASMR really quick. Look up a video. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, wish shit. like, there's no like look for each decade. Yes, there is. Not mean? really. Like yeah, the 50s, like, Every, every, like all, all the technology matched, the cars matched. It was like very color. You know what I mean? Like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s are very distinct of like. And then 90s and 2000s, I think are pretty distinct. 90s like are the 50s, iPod. 60s was like and the mint, white shell. I think mint colors, minty. And then like 70s, 80s, you think kind of like earthy oranges. Like the browns and the yellows. Browns, yeah. yeah. But like everything like fit into one thing. Do the AOL, well, AOL sign in. That, yup. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. what I, yeah. Oh my That's God. Terrible. This is me signing it sounds like my a neighbor's rocket. computer because I go on AIM. Sounds like everything is going wrong. <laughs> yeah. You be turning that shit down. Oh, like. yeah. Did we all have that same white speaker? So loud. <laughs> the same the white, white speaker. Yes. That, 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 like, that dome yeah. that was just like. That you <laughs> always put <laughs> <on> your finger <laughs> in. <laughs> Yo. Megaphone. You just wanted to like go, oh, how yes. far does that go? Yeah. You, you, you put Matt, your fingers Matt, in and yes. you can feel Or Matt, you go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if we had this oral fixation? That, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stick your tongue in it. Like, it was like a fan <laughs> running and you're like, ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that speaker would what go so deep. What was that? <laughs> That white speaker, every just both sides. Yeah, both sides with the gray like just, felt over yeah. it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh we my were god. literally all the same kid. Like yeah, you know what no. I mean? Like we yes. all had the Not same an fucking. Original experience. We lived the insight. same same life. I'm so and then glad they got we the black, the, those the black ones. We did the black that, ones. That like nice yes. And, Oh uh, yeah. I'm Dude. really glad we lived in the era we did though. Yeah. It, it's like, honestly, we got to experience like perfectly exactly. Yeah. Cause we're time. not like dumb to stuff. Like even the more yeah. it advances, yeah. we're like, okay, we get, we get it. Yeah. Cause we saw where we it went. Yeah. It didn't happen overnight. We're like, I don't know what this is. That's I always say weird. that like our Great parents hope. are a little confused, but we grew up growing with it at yeah. the perfect time where like the whole world was learning. So we are not- It's pretty cool. It. But we're gonna still be so annoying me like, well, we had VHS. Oh yeah. We I had know. to stick a like, chunk we, of blast. We in. got to see that though. I think it's the coolest thing. <laughs> yeah. Like we got to do cassettes. I remember getting cassettes for my birthday. Oh my then it was gosh, CDs. Yeah. And then they tried to make Blu-ray happen and that fucking- Blu-ray? Oh, yeah. 
blue. Blue. Right. They were like <laughs> this big. That was te- that never worked ever. It was. <laughs> I was always. <sighs> It was just a different CD. It was just smaller. It was just smaller. Just Any had to little put on the scratch. Top. My dad was so, do not scratch the CDs. Like it was like when when uh, flat screen computers first came out and they said not to touch it because it was made of jelly. Uh-huh. That's how my dad was with the CDs. Like oh, do not the, touch it. Dads would always be like this. Yes. Oh yeah. No fingerprints. Don't just on the outside. It. And then to like get it in. It was. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh. This. Do not scratch it. I, I would just finger. fucking. No, I oh it. yeah, no. I'd, I'd do my finger. I would be like, yeah. the top. Yeah, you would, you would like, donut it. Yeah, I, I would spin it. I would, I would I, finger, <laughs> finger in the hole, thumb, on, thumb on the edge. That is so that funny. That was the hole. No, no, don't touch it. Are you nuts? Smudging it doesn't do anything. It's scratching it. That's the problem. You picked up my CD and, and you, you scratched, scratched it. Out of broad daylight. I picked it up in broad daylight and you scratched <laughs> it. When the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> what a great movie. Um, Is it? Uh, if it, if it I, he, I watched it. He fakes being mentally challenged to join the special okay, Olympics I watched it, to win I, money. I watched it like 10 years ago. I remember enjoying it. <laughs> but it's the movie. meant to Sorry. be fucked up. It's not like this is a good thing yeah, to do. No, I'm, I'm not saying it was a great movie. Like, oh my God, what a wonderful movie. What I'm a just, great idea. I, what a great idea. I we just, I remember watching that. it 15 years ago or 10 years ago it's and funny. remember it was funny. That's it. <laughs> Case closed. I'm sorry. I apologize. You don't have to explain If yourself. you don't know what the movie is, it's The Ringer with uh, Johnny Knoxville. Thank you, because I have no what idea. I, well, I'm not doing is promoting the movie. That's that's. I, I wanted you. to clarify. You just gave it a platform, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Remember they would sell those CD cleaner things where you would like. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! God. The red, the red. Oh yes. my! What? Yeah. That never worked. No, that never worked. worked. And luckily, it you never had spray, to buy it. Right? You never had yes. to buy it. It came with a spray. But it was and this then like washing gray. machine yes. for a CD. Like and what oh a sham! Gosh. And you would clean it. You would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You would clean the CD with like alcohol. Mariah, remember? And the the, the scratches would go away. And you're like, all right. You put it back in, and you're like, it's not where you pull it back out. It dries, and you yeah. see all the scratches oh my again. God. <laughs> but it would trick you into thinking the scratches were gone. Yes, it I was, had one that had like a top crank and it would just. Oh, we never got the cleaner, luckily. It didn't work. I don't know, luckily my dad was really kind of cynical. He knew CDs weren't gonna last. He goes, technology's gonna, he goes, if it's scratch, it's scratch, it'll be fine. You can download it off Napster. Like he yeah. was like, this this is gonna mean nothing in a year or like two years. He was very like, I was like, thank you. yeah, he was, he wouldn't well, stress. I, I, I thought so you, that CD was fucked, you're fucked. Well, like DVDs for a while, my dad would be like, I'm not buying the DVD. I'm like, why? He goes, cause you'll be able to buy it like online. Your dad knew a lot, that's oh, scary. He, what else does he My dad was in market research. So he would go to these conferences uh, and hear people talk about uh, what's things next. in the future. My dad also one time, and this was crazy. He goes, there are gonna be yogurt shops everywhere and this was what this was what? What before was the froyo phase Wait, that's funny. Dude, dude he was like yogurt chops and i go what the fuck are you talking about dad he goes you know there's all these ice cream stores and everything he goes yogurt self-serve yogurt you're gonna go get yogurt and i go that's the silliest thing i've ever heard and sure enough now look there's yogurt <laughs> Everywhere. Well, you obviously we're thinking yogurt as like something you get from a store, not like frozen yogurt. Correct. That's, yeah. Correct. But that's just like that's what, pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's he goes crazy how he just. But he was also that. yeah. But he did say frozen yogurt. But in my mind, I thought of like oh, you freeze a gogurt yeah. and that's what you eat. Uh, I go, yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. wants to eat that. <laughs> that's so. I funny. remember being at a pool party telling people that yogurt. We were eating guys, my cream. dad go, said yogurt's gonna be. There's gonna be tons of yogurt stores, and I remember everyone was laughing at me, and I wish I could go back to that pool party. Invest and be in like, yogurt. <laughs> see. Wild. <laughs> Who's the comedian talking about how Gogurt came up? Like, guys, this yogurt cup is not fast enough. We got to figure out a way Go-Gurt. to eat yogurt faster. Yo- we need yogurt when Gogurt walks P- in the like, room. Or, or like, who who is taking yogurt on the go? Like, wh- wh- <laughs> what? Well, we, we all did. Remember, there'd we be like did. a little secret hidden message if you finished it. You could read what was printed <laughs> on the inside. Yeah. This might be a stupid question, but like, I because obviously, like years ago, I thought. Froyo shops were like, Froyo was healthier than ice cream, right? Yeah, they really marketed it like that. But it's but not there at all. Are, there are and low it's not fat even, and it's no not sh- even dairy free. It's it's well, still it's dairy. The toppings, man. They'll like go. They'll go low no. fat, no sugar. And they go. But do you want <laughs> some but, Reese's but, pieces? I know. But they yes. marketed it in the beginning like it was the healthier option of ice cream. So people Correct. went there thinking it's, they were because yogurt a healthier- is a probiotic. Yeah, Ro- yogurt still, is it's a filled with fucking dairy and sugar. sugar. It's like that. That's the two worst things in ice cream, and that's what you still get in yogurt. I know, right? but I think it is st- it's still kind of technically healthier. It's healthier. It's not healthier, but I think it's not. Greek? It's not healthy, but it's healthier. 
Because these Froyos are tasting just like ice cream. Mm-hmm. I think they're mixing in a little bit of ice cream just to make it taste better. I don't know. With stevia and like all this. Ice milk is going to be the next thing. There's going to be ice milk shops everywhere. Ice milk? Yeah. Are you trying to be Matt Stud? No, I just love ice something. milk more than anything. What the hell is ice milk? Like the cruise ship ice creams. It's not oh. ice cream. It's not gelato. It's not oh, yolk. It's like soft serve. Soft serve. Oh, okay. But it's like. Ice <clears throat> milk. You know what's freaking yeah. me out is just like 3D printing and also how easy it is to like customize like shirts and stuff. Cause I'm always thinking about like, oh, which shirts do I want to keep for my kids for like decades um, day or like that holds some significance. The only way I, I think. feel like in the future, you're gonna be able to go, Amazon, <laughs> make this shirt and it comes the next day. What's the point of keeping the shirt then? But, you know, yeah, like you can I, replicate any shirt you, from your you're past. Yeah. Absolutely right. But it's the nostalgia. Like if you were, if you printed it out for your kid in 10 years, it's not the same as like, I had this I, in this high is, school. This is like my shirt. I, Wow, my mom wore this. I think in- he's saying oh. you can just literally do it and be like, yeah, honey, I had this from high school. I know, but I, but then I, our I kids, couldn't do that. Nostalgia. No. Hopefully, hopefully our kids will, I guess nostalgia will always exist. Maybe. If but they're going to be like, I, believe, I don't care. I, be- I think nostalgia is genetic. Well, do you think people in the because- 20s were nostalgic about the 1800s? Yeah. Probably. Put it I'm in gonna like have a... nothing nostalgic. I get rid of everything. That's if I good. something that's and I good. haven't worn it in uh, two months, gar- uh, not garbage, I, I donate it. No, that's good, Zane. You should always be like that. Like, Yeah, no. but then I'm not gonna have anything. No. It's not too late. You're, you're only never gonna be like, <laughs> curse the day. I wish I had more things from yeah. my past. You'll think, you'll think. And be Unless better. it's something that grows in value. I can save this. Yeah, give your kids your job. Imagine what they're going to look like. (laughs) Daddy smokes all of these. (laughs) Oh, my grandpa's vape. Just like. (laughs) Jesus. Oh, that's a cool art piece in a shadow box. A jewel, a vape, a a full shadow box. Making an art piece out of my grandpa's vape. That would be so. Because people do matches. That's People true. put old matches in shadow boxes. I think I think it can. It's hit. so I like that. they sell. Wait, what? <laughs> it's just funny. Right? I'm just thinking of just a bucket of vapes. <laughs> no, but it's kind of like if you know your your grandpa had like a pipe or he gave you something like that. Like it's just cool to see that technology. Like yeah. I mean, it's not as cool as a vintage pipe, but it's something. It's just- <laughs> it'll be it'll be vintage one day. Yeah, it will be. What do you think they're gonna look like in the future? Like just puffs. It's gonna be like this small, and it's gonna be. Free. <laughs> like it's just gonna pop out. Remember Xenon? How they how they talk to each other on the things like this? Yeah, it's just cr- I never thought we'd be talking like this. Yeah, I wanted it Ooh, all to be. Oh. I always wanted it to be like this. You just wanted it oh, sideways. Oh, like, look at like they, a sidekick. In Xenon, they always like carried their stuff around, but like because of just the way the phone is, yeah. everything's always up. I always thought it was gonna be like yeah. this. It is weird that it went vertical. It had, yeah, because it was Cause that's what, how the phone used to be. It was vertical flip. It was vertical. It was vertical. And then the cool phones where it was like, wow, technology's changing, where they would slide yeah. and everything would the sidekick, everything would be here. But Video then you have games. A baby. Then you have a baby. You needed one you need hand, a, yeah. Extra hand. So they were <laughs> smart design. That is. They were thinking. Using mm. their brains. How long are we doing this? Four hours? Uh, yeah, we should. We should. We, we should cut it. Well, happy birthday, Mariah! Oh, can we say one thing before we go? <laughs> go ahead, folks. We are nominated for best podcaster of the year. <laughs> I thought year. he was going to say something about me. <laughs> <laughs> but, happy birthday, Mariah! Oh, one, one more thing. I was going to say that, but I wanted because that's more important. But I, this is. Mariah, you're on <laughs> that second. podcast that's nominated for. Uh, that's right. And what a birthday present that would be. Yeah, the, for my we, birthday, I want everyone to vote. It's the American Influencer Awards. Thank you so much, guys, uh, or to the American Influencer Awards for nominating us. Please, guys, go vote. And once you vote, go share it amongst yourself. Tell all your friends who are big unfiltered fans to vote. We would just really well, like Yeah, we this. just want to win something. I just think it'd be so fun. Yeah, it I would think be it'd be funny. funny. I hope we get to go to the, the thing, whatever they have. Yeah. Yeah, I want to dress up for an award I don't award know. Show. I don't know if it's like a thing or anymore. I right see now. it. I see us right now on stage accepting an award. Yeah. I like, I can visualize Without our it. hats. We don't have to wear no hats. No hats on. <gasps> Neither of you are in a hat? Manifest. Manifest it. Manifest. And guys, you may think, oh, I already voted. So I'm good. No, you can vote every day. Oh yeah, like you can vote as many times, times as you want. So with different emails, vote, 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 make it a tab. When you open up your laptop every day, it's the first homepage you see is the wow, voting thing. Thank you. Start your How'd day. you link that by the way? I clicked the link and it went straight to the- When you go to, yeah, cause it's a little, no, there's a little like share button down there and yeah. it goes like tweet Facebook. And then there's this weird share kind of button. If you click that, it gives you the link. The exact link. The yeah. Exact I, link. 
Cool. So, but I'm so excited. Yeah. I can't believe we won. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the thing is we have to trust you guys. When did when did they uh, close the votes? I don't know. I feel like we got like I think end of the end of August they close. So we only it's getting it's getting close. It, it, I think it's I think it closes in the next couple of days. Starting hurry, now, hurry, hurry. Now. Starting now. Oh, so maybe by the time this it is might, out. But, but if it's still open, you can vote. It's through the 31st. Oh, perfect. Oh, through the 31st? Oh, oh so good. we you have uh, two more days once you once this comes out. Or out. one day if or they're, one day. they're watching out, the video on guys, YouTube. Guys, bust it out. There yeah. you go, baby. Let's take this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like All right. that. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning into another Zany Heath Unfiltered episode. Happy birthday, Mariah. Thank you so much you for do. being here. Thank you for my presence. On this planet. We really appreciate you and we love you. Oh, love you guys. You can check out this uh, this episode every Monday on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and every Tuesday on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath where you could see us live in action. You can also watch <clears> the <throat> podcast and drink the greatest coffee in the world at cremota.com. You get the new bags. They're very, very soft and sexy to touch. We've got a bunch of different flavors. We also got them in <laughs> K-Cups. Uh, and if you haven't checked out our Patreon yet, make sure to check that out, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We post early access to these episodes. You can watch them a couple days early. We do a bonus episode every single month. We actually have the bonus episode up right now with Zach and Jared. We did a drunk episode. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure to check that out. And then you get access to our Discord. You get a monthly live Q&A from Zane and I. And we, have, we also keep these cameras rolling for the next yes. 15, 25 minutes uh, where we talk all the shit. And it's called want. our Unwind. Exactly. So if you want to check those out, it's kind of like a little bonus extra exactly. episode too. Um, but yeah, we love you guys so much and we'll see you next week. Peace, Peace. out. A-Town now. Boop, 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 boop.